so so high temperature solids you have done in your high school and that you know that specific heat goes um, uh, cv goes as 3r from this is from classical vibration that was done before quantum mechanics and this is called Dulong Petit's law. However, when one calculates its uh, measures its specific heat, its specific heat against temperature, one before people had up to this and that is Schroeder, Dulong Petit law 3R. But when you go to low temperature, this and goes like that. That means these experimental results become available after low temperature studies were becoming available in uh, 1917, uh, 1920, and around that time, uh, this remarkable departure from uh, classical statistical mechanics. This is just one of those beautiful things that happened starting with uh, black body radiation, photoelectric effect, um, Bomber series, quantum, all, all, the, all, the, all the beautiful things. So, breakdown of specific heat at low temperature immediately do huge amount of attention and people could not do, people could not solve it. There was, yeah, because they did not have the energy level. However, this uh, uh, Schrodinger solution of the harmonic oscillator and energy with n plus half h nu, they came uh, 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 available in 1926, 1927 and then at that time, this beautiful departure from classical mechanics, it was done by Einstein. What did Einstein do and then corrected by the air and that became to known as the Debye uh, Einstein or Einstein Debye theory. So, what Einstein realized that the solids has many, many low frequency modes, they are low frequency in com com compared to, this is a very, very interesting, they are low frequency with respect to uh, atomic vibration, but they are not that low frequency that you can treat them classical mechanics. So, there are frequencies which are normal modes. So, basically when I have say consider one dimensional. Uh, model you do KTL or uh, Ascot Mermin or all the. So, we have this chain linear chain, then the Hamiltonian is a vibration, this vibration, this vibration, this vibration, this vibration, n number of vibration let us say. Now, these modes are this position of these molecules x1 minus x2 square plus x2 1 2 3 4 5 they are in terms of atomic position goes like that right now i can make a so the, when i expand that the x1 square x2 square x1 x2 x2 square x3 square then uh, x2 x3 now, I can make a coordinate transformation which is same as diagonalization where I go to representation where since x1, x2 is a linear coupling and these are very important uh, and I do not need to go to it, but nonlinear I cannot do that, but in linear coupling I can diagonalize this and I go a new set of vibrations. Those vibrations are now is collective vibration that means it is like in water we have a collective symmetric stretching or asymmetric stretching where uh, 
oxygen remaining the same, but two hydrogens are moving together. Okay. Similarly, here all the molecules atoms are moving together that means there is a kind of this vibration all of them moving together they are like sound waves and they are compression and they are repetition and they are some of them are like this others are going like that. So, just like symmetric asymmetric stretching in water there are many many 3 n minus you know if it is a linear case 3 n minus uh, 6 uh, vibrations are coming in. So, these are the collective moves when you get by diagonalizing the Hamiltonian and where collective the molecules are moving together and these are low frequency modes. And then these low frequency modes as I told you they are low enough frequency to contribute enormously significantly to entropy and to specific heat. But they are high enough such that you cannot con contribute them to classical metric. When you go to high temperature then these modes low frequency modes can become treated as quantum mechanically. But when you go to low temperature, when you go to low temperature, low temperature, this is temperature I am talking, talking of 0 Kelvin, temperature in Kelvin. So, in this region, so maybe at 300 Kelvin or 200 Kelvin, you can still have the dulong petits law, but when you go to 10 Kelvin or 5 Kelvin, then those low frequency modes has to be treated quantum mechanically and they make a very important contribution. And that is now believed by Einstein famous theory which first divided it, uh, Einstein did it and has a exponentially to the power minus t dependence. What Einstein made, he, he did not this do all this um, uh, diagonalization or anything, he just said all the frequencies of the solid, he got the total number correct, all they have the same frequency, constant frequency that called Einstein frequency. Then this is very easy, then you go to Einstein frequency and you can now calculate the specific heat from there. All of them same by ds dt, divided it tightly, divide, uh, uh, took care of the what you call frequency dispersion, that all these modes are of different frequency, they have the lowest frequency and highest frequency. When he did that, he got the real value, it is as t to the power cube, famous t to the power cube law. But that came out essentially from just what we are doing here. Uh, okay, so so this is specific heat, T D S D T, and then uh, when I do this from entropy, then I get this expression H nu by K B square. Uh, so this is the entropy. I take derivative. I get one term from here. I will get two terms from here, I can combine them and when I combine them, you get this expression, you can check it out. Is it trivial uh, from entropy, this is really trivial thing, so I am not going to do it. But believe me that this is the expression that comes in. Um, this is the specific heat of the uh, one harmonic oscillator. One, one harmonic oscillator with frequency nu. Now, in go to solid, so it is shown by as I read in Einstein, later by divide these expressions where harmonic oscillator plays an important role during specific heat of solids at low temperature. So, high temperature we go to Dulong Petit's law, but low temperature we now in order to calculate make it as frequency dependent Cp nu and then we have to understand integrate with the density of states G nu then C v nu and this is what Einstein did and Einstein said okay, I can have only all the frequencies are one uh, are the same identical. Then I have n number of vibration into then uh, C v nu vibration nu Einstein and then I put that nu Einstein here and I get an exponential dependence as Einstein showed in this region. However, all these um, vibrations do not have the same frequency, they have a maximum frequency because of the wave is acoustic wave, they are essentially waves that you can accommodate within this thing. And uh, so, that um, extra consideration important becomes, becomes important at a even low temperature that gives you the law. 
So, so this is an a, a really interesting thing that happens in 1930s, I think 1932 uh, or around that time that Einstein did and then Debye corrected Einstein. So, the statistical mechanics of harmonic oscillator plays such an important role in uh, doing this. So, now continue. So, the next we will do now the rotational partition function. This is the vibration and as I said even very recently even today all many many people are doing those entropy, those specific heat you know, to uh, consider amorphous solids these is or low temperature liquids. Uh, for example, we ourselves did a work as I told you last year with one collaborator professor Singh Shai to long paper came out in Journal of Chemical Physics. We used these things to calculate the specific heat and entropy of low temperature water and that seemed to explain several things. So, it is many many people are using these things. So, they are not just so just like in quantum mechanics the vibrational spectra uh, this by the, this uh, Schrodinger solution and the harmonic oscillator plays a very important role you know is something really surprising that such a simple model and kind of artificial model plays so important role but that happens in physics again and again that is why harmonic oscillator model is very much cherished that is very very um, loved and liked by scientists because they can use in many different situations. Similarly now uh, it goes as like that translation like that vibration also all these things are very very important. Now rotation that is why we are repeating it. Now we do the rotational uh, statistical mechanics of rotational mode or rotational motion. We did translation, we did vibration, we said electronic is not important and but the rotation is important. Now rotation has a place which between vibration and translation. In translation, it got away without doing quantum mechanics. In vibration, we had to do quantum mechanics. But in case of rotation, it is in between. So, this rotation energy levels, if translation energy level is facing like this, very continu continuous, then um, and rotation will be like this. Vibration is like this. So, this is where we are somewhere in between quantum and uh, classical. So, we will see that in, in, in low temperature this uh, the discreteness, the quantum nature of the energy levels, the discreteness plays an important role, but in a uh, high temperature it both you can be like one um, like 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 classical mechanics. So, let us do. Now, again Schrodinger solved for a rigid rotator, a molecule is rotating with a moment of inertia i. Moment of inertia plays the role of mass, you know. So, the uh, i, moment of inertia i, this is the energy levels that again, uh, um, the, again that uh, Schrodinger gave us, e j is j square j plus 1. But there is a very, very important thing now which we never faced before that these energy levels are degenerate. So, now before we are talking of individual energy level, they are not degenerate in particular inner box, they are not degenerate. In the particular inner box, they are degenerate in a different sense. That means, I can have x, y, z, I can 0, I can have 1, 1, 1 and uh, there are uh, or I can have 1, 2, 1 or 1, 1, 2, uh, but we just sum them up because as we, if they decoupled. Actually, if we take up that, it becomes uh, more complicated. But in rotation, even for a single rotation, we have the degeneracy, which is 2j plus 1. Then, partition function goes over, you sum over these uh, energy states, which are given by energy Ej. And then, we have gi e to the power minus ei by k to the So, instead of a, a energy each energy level we count the energy states that means okay this energy state is, is e1 but now i have 2j plus 1 of them so then this thing is 2j plus 1 and this ej is this quantity so my partition function now my partition function now becomes this quantity. 
my partition function now become this quantity and I will tell you that again why it plays an important role this case also. So, now q rotation is 2j plus 1 e to the power minus e j by 2 k by k b t and then um, e j I put the e j here and then I get this. Now, I notice one something very interesting till now I have been doing very mundane and very simple substitution, but now I, uh, the play, I can be a little smart. I realize the 2j plus 1 is nothing but a derivative of j into j plus 1. So, 2j plus 1 if I take d by dj j into j plus 1 then this is d by dj j square plus j and that is 2j plus 1. So, this quantity is nothing but a derivative of j plus 1 say so, then I ok be little smart I do d by dj, but however that brings out many other quantities j pi square i k b by h square. So, I have to cancel them. So, I put them in form 8 pi square i k b t by h this quantity this quantity is the this quantity is the same as this quantity. But that is been now very nice ok. I made some progress. I cannot evaluate this sum uh, exactly which is a pity uh, really pity, but we cannot do it. Uh, many times you will see some really simple things we cannot do. Uh, maybe some of you can be smart and do a better approximation in this case, but we have not been able to do. So, then I can write 8 pi square by a from here 8 pi square i k b t by h square equal to dj rj and I define this function rj as because it is not no point of writing it again and again. So, I find rj as this quantity. So, this is my uh, partition function rotational partition function that means this then is So, rotational partition function this is my rotational partition function. Let me see what I can do with this now. As I said for many many molecules uh, this is particularly important for physical chemistry that where we have the rotation. And I remember when I was doing uh, postdoc at University of Chicago with the uh, James Frank Institute and there are some fantastic group of people there uh, and there are some guys who made history. And there are people like uh, Stuart Rice, Don Levy, and they were doing uh, spectroscopy in the gas. And there was a lot of excitement to detect the rotational level dependence of electronic and vibrational relaxation. And uh, this was the reason they have the partition function, they know how to, they know this thing is there. So, if a molecule rotate very fast, then they will modify the coupling between different energy levels and then we would be able to see in the temperature dependence of relaxation, vibration relaxation, rotational level dependence that you would be not be otherwise if the vibration rotation coupling is not there ok. So, let us go ahead and do some little bit more of then now, now ok. So, important thing is that it is a very important comment here the strong dependence of partition function of moment of inertia as I said this plays a very important role very very important role in energy relaxation in vibration energy relaxation of uh, A. So, then low temperature we go to T going to 0 limit then this quantity if I go to low temperature then um, J by J plus K this term low temp T is small and then j equal to 0 of course, survives, but j equal to 1 is this 1 into 2 uh, then 2 by this i k b t survives and then next one when j equal to 2 that becomes 2 into 3 6, but then t is small. So, the exponent is large. So, larger j terms gets 
they they can cancel when you do that term then you find low temperature is enough to keep one term that is j equal to j equal to 0 comes with 1 that j equal to 1 is enough so you get this quantity so at low temperature temperature is going to 0 kelvin i do have a simplification which is this term now the partition function is 1 plus 3 by this thing a similar simplification happens in high temperature also. Now, high temperature energy levels are continuous like in classical mechanics. That means, J into J plus 1 by KBT uh, temperature is very large, they, become, they get uh, high temperature, they get squeezed, they are very close to each other. Now, I can replace this sum by an integral. If I replace this sum by an integral, then I can do that integration because I already have that in interesting thing that this guy is a derivative of this guy. So, it is just an integration uh, dx d by dx. This is the integration. I can do that integration and then it is trivial and I get this quantity 8 pi square i k b t by 8 square by t by theta. So, this is the this theta is theta r. And so, I have now a very nice par a, a partition function high temperature that that is proportional to uh, and I define a rotational temperature just like before that is h square by i k b t because this quantity partition function is dimensional it must be dimensionless. So, this quantity is the inverse of temperature then just like in vibration I will define rotational temperature this is something one has to be a bit careful I said a very important thing here that partition function is dimensionless and so dimensionless q because it is sum over energy levels. So, this is number exponential is a number. So, q is a uh, so when you did the translational vibration function the quantity that makes this dimensionless is lambda. So, you have to be very very careful lambda but de Broglie wavelength and de Broglie wavelength comes again and again and uh, uh, that comes through this uh, Planck's constant and all these combination h square by uh, uh, lambda k b t and that together for the de Broglie wavelength that plays a very important role in when we, in the quantum classical analogy. So, in the when the Boltzmann and Gibbs beat they did not have the Planck's constant. So, they left their partition function with a volume term and that then they that were reconciled as this is the volume of the of the cell in the phase space and all these things, but you do not need that really. Uh, you have to for bookkeeping, you do not need the physical interpretation, uh, but because there is an exact expression. Well, you can go ahead doing a uh, physical interpretation like which are told did a lot of it, and that probably helps in certain uh, cases, but you do not need that. So, now I have the beautiful expression of the rotational partition function which 8, 8 pi square i k b t by 8 square this is my rotational partition function. So, I have the transmission of my partition function I have the vibrational partition function I have the rotational partition function. Now, I go the rotational partition function cal calculate the free energy at in, in the particular high temperature limit. So, this is the high temperature limit. High temperature limit I do k b t l n q uh, and then k b t l n q rotation and then I get this quantity and then I get the free energy as uh, uh, I look at that then it is T by theta r and uh, because the T is the numerator theta r is the denominator theta I define like that that has to be careful about that and then uh, minus k b t then this theta r is T by theta r. So, there is a minus or you can write uh, uh, theta r by t ok. So, free energy is uh, this is the free energy then we can calculate the other quantities like entropy and entropy and this is important as I told you that when you are going to talk of low temperature and up in the cloud the entropy of water molecules uh, entropy of a linear molecule now, still now we are doing diatomic uh, we will do polyatomic very soon but we get the 
these are the quantities we need. So, entropy is now a function of moment of inertia, entropy of molecule, moment of inertia i and the and the expression is by taking the derivative of the we, we get these quantities because these quantities before that and this quantity there is a temperature here, there is a temperature here. So, two terms come out now entropy and these are the two terms. Beautiful expression of that that entropy is n k b which is the entropy unit in of course, with the extensive n number of particles uh, in non interacting rigid rotators. So, k b 1 plus t by theta r ln theta r is the entropy. Now, we get the specific heat and the specific heat t ds dt we take the derivative of that there is no temperature here there is only temperature here mm, when you do that ln it comes t by theta r in below and the theta theta r get cancelled and you take a derivative and t this t 1 it becomes 1 over t and this t cancels to 1 over t and you get a beautiful expression just like in ideal gas that uh, specific heat is n k b. And so, this is the, the thing that we really wanted to tell you that um, next in the next lecture we will start with the polyatomic. Um, this we finish the diatomic completely, we calculated entropy of rotation with vibration translation. So, but as I again and again telling these are very, very important things this uh, even though they are non interacting limit they go on the backbone on each interaction is built in like virial equation. So, we start with ideal gas law and we add in attraction and that is the virial equation of things ok. Then we start with the harmonic oscillator model we put an harmonicity and so we add the correction term to that comes from ideal gas law. This is the way stress stream mechanics is built up. Actually, that is the way quantum mechanics also built up. That is your perturbation theory that you want to talk of harmonic oscillator, but the transition vibration you need a perturbation. Otherwise, you know they are against states, they do not talk with each other. So, so the interacting system comes with the perturbation. Sometimes when the perturbation does not work, is where things are really interesting. And so uh, so the we'll, next lecture we will start here the polyatomic uh, uh, systems and then we will go on doing some very, very interesting stuff. So, just, uh, stay tuned. So, thank you.